Let us pray tonight. Our Father, we come before You again this evening. It's a different stage from what we've been focusing on, Father. There's still, I'm sure, a lot of mixed emotions, obviously. Lord, our hearts ache tonight because we there's an emptiness because Elena is is not here among us. But Lord, the, the, it, the truth is coming out. The truth is unfolding. And Lord, we seek and pray for, for the full truth to be disclosed. For everything to be brought out into the open. Because right now what we need, Father, is some closure. We need some peace. We need some rest. For the sake of the family, for the sake of those in this community who have tirelessly stayed by the side of this family. Every week, throughout the week, laboring, toiling, praying, and Lord, we are beginning to see an end in sight. And I pray, God, that you would, through your Holy Spirit, help us to consider these events that have taken place over the past several months. Help us to be able to, have, to see the bigger picture in mind. Help the healing process to continue the stages of grief. Help us to mourn properly the way that is healthy. Help us to be honest. Help us to be expressive. But it, comfort us in our mourning. Comfort us in our grieving. And we are going to have questions. We know that. Help us to ask those questions. Help us never to stop asking those questions. Ask and you will receive, the Scripture says. Lord, I pray for the court sessions this week. I pray, God, for softening of hearts. I pray for transparency and full honesty. That if there needs that that if there needs to be the coming clean, I pray, God, that that you will put it on their hearts to confess whatever it is that needs to be confessed. I pray that you will give wisdom to the judge and those who are prosecuting the defense. May, may everything that needs to take place take place, Father, for the sake of this community, for the sake of the family. I thank you, Father, for your, for your peace and knowing that Elena, she is in, she is in perfect peace right now. She is not suffering. She is not living in harm's way. She is not living in fear. She is not living in abuse. She is not living in pain. And I thank you for that, Father. I thank you for the hope that we have in God and Christ. May we strive to live in that hope, that same hope that the Scriptures teach. And may we continue to seek after You and be obedient in all the light that You give us to respond in obedience to You. For it is in the name of Christ that I pray. And everyone said, Amen. Amen.